Over the last couple of weeks, we have conducted three filming days in which we captured most of our required footage for the opening two minutes of our film Necrosis. Unfortunately, we had some problems with scheduling with the actors, making it hard to film everything we needed to. In response to this, in future, we would not use this many actors as it's too difficult to handle all of them. However, despite not having the actors on every day, we still managed to capture enough footage in order to fill up the two minutes. As a result, we are now ready to edit. In our filming, we had to cover three aspects. The first of which being cinematography. We captured a lot of different angles and shot types, including using a drone to capture a bird's eye view shot. We filmed a variety of camera distance shots, from mid shots to close ups to extreme long shots that established a scene. We also used camera movement, with the point of view shot used to signify a chase scene and panning shots to set a calmer mood. The second aspect we needed to cover was mise-en-scene. We used props in our filming to portray certain emotions and character types. Basket case has pills, brain has workbooks, and criminal has a knife. Another aspect we focused on was costume, which each person's character type reflected through this. We had Jock in a sporty outfit, with tracksuit bottoms, and Princess in a very sexual and revealing dress. We also used hair and makeup to define the characters, for example, we had Bastard Case in dark makeup that at some points ran down her face. We also had Criminal with messy hair to connote the idea that he doesn't care about self image. We used a variety of lighting in the filming, from natural daylight to dusk to nighttime. This shows a variety of lighting, each different one coming with an attached reason as to why we chose it, e.g., the killing scene is filmed at night to connote that idea of darkness and evil. For sound on the day, we used a Rode video mic, which was mounted on top of the camera. This had two settings, one that captured ambient sound like the wildlife and the movement of trees and the wind, and the other capturing voices and dialogue clearly. This meant we could capture clear audio without background noise, which will add a sense of professionality to our final product.